Octavia Butler is so important. Oh my goodness. I was watching actually a video of her on Charlie Rose today and she was talking about what it meant to write herself in, like to create a world and be able to write herself into it and how much that meant to her as somebody who was excluded in all the ways that she could imagine. And I think about what does it mean for us to collectively claim that we can do that. I think that it's, it's prescient, it's genius, it's crucial that the two of you have said, no, we exist, we claim ourselves. Octavia Butler is present and her legacy is active. And we're actually gonna create a space where that can be visible and therefore it can expand and it can move. I feel really um, grateful for a space to actively create my relationship to Octavia Butler's legacy and to be able to name myself as somebody who participates in that legacy and then act on it with a collective of people is amazing. It's like something that could have been in an Octavia Butler novel. <laughs> my story is about it's about time travel through intellectual practice. It's like, do we time travel through our reading, through our writing, through our thinking? Are we actually receiving messages from and sending messages to people who lived in different generations through the way we use language? Octavia's brood! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! <laughs>